I'm Sarah, this is Abby, and welcome to A Soul Unlimited. Oh hey, this video is sponsored by Dive with Buddy, an app designed to make your life as a diver easier. As a recreational diver, you can log your dives, find new dive buddies, look up dive sites in your area, and learn from others through blogs. As a dive professional, you can accept tips which is pretty cool. And soon you can even accept bookings. The Dive With Buddy team is very actively updating and expanding the features in the app, making it the best diving app and community that I've encountered. If you wanna check out the app for yourself and add me as a friend, use the link in the description below. Let's get into the video. Pretty much immediately after I bought my sailboat and started moving in, I got the opportunity to head back up to Anacortes to film community science scuba divers at work. I packed up my van Ariel for our first scuba diving adventure in weeks. Anacortes and the San Juan Islands are some of my favorite laid back areas for van life. So I knew exactly where to park to sleep for the night. I really enjoy revisiting places I've been before because all the hard work of scoping out spots is done and I can just settle right in. <laughs> I'm usually a much earlier riser. Seven o'clock is so late for me, <laughs> but I have been pushing myself way too much. I'm exhausted, <laughs> but today I'm going diving somewhere new. I'm pumped, <laughs> despite being tired. I loaded all of my stuff into the boat at the Washington Park boat launch. Washington Park is one of my favorite spots to visit in Anacortes. I've spent many sunsets here, and it seems like it could be a pretty easy place to pick up people on future sailboat trips out to the islands. The only diving I've done in this area before was during my dive dry road trip when I took my van to San Juan Island. If you want to see the diving out there, I've linked that video in the description below. Our survey sites were only about a 10 minute boat ride to Burroughs Lighthouse, which I had never heard of since it's only accessible by boat. The goals for the day were to not only gather data thanks to all of the trained divers on board, but also to compare that data to information that the aquarium ROV can collect. That's remotely operated vehicle. This impressive machine is set up with high-powered underwater video lights and cameras, driven by a technician from the boat. It goes down with a cable, which means it is limited in the places it can go, based on the kelp density at the site. Unfortunately, around the western United States, we have been seeing a decline in kelp forests, so part of this data collection is to track the health of sites and help inform decisions on reef restoration efforts in the area. If you wanna learn more about this type of work, I did an entire video on Reef Check Foundation last year, and I've linked that in the description below. With waters teeming with biodiversity, Anacortes offers a front row seat to these rainforests of the sea, home to a wide cast of critters, including giant Pacific octopuses, wolf eels, nudies, and many more. That being said, when I'm shooting with scientific divers, I am focused on the divers and keeping track of my buddies. That means I didn't get to see any of these creatures during our dives. But it's days like these that remind me I don't need perfect conditions or incredible ocean encounters to enjoy my time in the water. I just need to be out there, salty, feeling alive.
If y'all didn't know, I'm notoriously terrible at sitting down regularly to log my dives. Whenever I do get to it, I have to log tens of dives at a time, and it's not conducive to getting all of the pertinent information needed for a good dive log. That's why when Dive With Buddy started up, I was excited because for better or worse, I always have my phone with me. And now that dive logging is possible offline, I don't have any excuses for not doing it straight away, even when I'm still on the boat. Offline mode also lets you add dive sites that aren't on the map, so it's very functional when you're off exploring new and different places. Being out of service is a treat for someone who is chronically online. That being said, the remoteness has its downsides. I'm fine with the beach if you guys don't care. I don't care. Once again, I was faced with the tricky situation of being in a dry suit for a full day of diving and not having access to a head. Staying hydrated and managing your fluids in a dry suit has quickly become one of my biggest pet peeves, which is why I'm finally making moves to install a P-valve in my suit. I'll make a video about it once it finally happens because really, enough is enough. <laughs> Whenever I go out on one of these scientific diving video shoots, I am always impressed by my dive buddies. These people are so passionate and knowledgeable about the wildlife and ecosystem. It inspires me to continue my education in species identification and marine biology. One of the cool things we found was that the kelp here is doing quite well. The density was so great that the ROV wasn't able to launch on the second dive site due to entanglement hazards, and that just warms my heart. In a time when natural disasters plague the planet, it's important to have these moments and images of hope so that we can buckle down and continue the fight against all the terrible things ravaging our ocean. Nicely done. <laughs> Heading back to my sailboat, I was hit with so much joy. I didn't really realize how much I wanted a home base after over three years of living in this wonderful little van. just arrived home. I don't know if I can really fully explain what that feels like. I haven't had like a home base. I mean, my family lives in California and that's always been home, but like this, this is my home right now. Like where my boat is and my marina, it feels so good. <laughs> like I was a little bit annoyed because I forgot to fill up my shower bag and so like I didn't and there wasn't fresh water at the dock in Anacortes and I was like oh god I have to rinse all my stuff later and blah 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 but like I have water at home <laughs> I just have to carry my stuff over to my boat and like hook up the hose and I have water <laughs> that's so cool <laughs> It's the little things in life, you know? I know that I, I I'm not gonna say this because I don't know this. I don't think that marina life is gonna be my life. Like, I think I'm gonna go cruising. Although I may spend, you know, I may do cruising trips and then like hang out in marinas for a while. That might be my lifestyle where I move a little bit slower and spend more time in places. Cause I, I do like that. I like that rhythm of life. That being said, I don't know what's gonna happen, right? I, I know that right now and for this season, this is home and it just feels so good. I just wanted to share that. I feel like it's really easy to take for granted having a home base and having a roof over your head, no matter what it looks like and having unlimited fresh water <laughs> and electricity. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, I haven't had to worry about running my batteries low since I moved into the boat. And that is, that is a beautiful thing. Ugh, I love it. Show some love to your home wherever you are. It can have a lot of problems. We all know that 
My homes have had problems. I have so much rinsing to do. I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> And one day I'll be taking this beautiful boat out on her own diving adventures, but it'll, it'll take some time. All right, that's it. That's the video. If you want to join me on the Dive With Buddy app, add me as a friend with the link in the description below and start logging those dives. I will also be doing a follow-up video on finding new buddies with the radar function within the app. So if you're in Washington and on the app, I may be hitting you up to go for a dive soon. Okay, love you, bye.